You know that sound. It means it's time to get out of bed and go to work. But that sound tends to arrive way too soon, and it leaves us longing for five more minutes of blissful rest. When our bodies and minds are unable to get the sleep they need, we spend our days like this, tired, distracted, and struggling to find the energy to do our jobs well. So what do we do? We grab another cup of caffeine and we push our way through. We tough it out, right? I mean, after all, what can go wrong? Well, a lot actually, especially if you fall asleep behind the wheel of a truck that's carrying over 380 tons of material. Until just recently, operator fatigue and distraction have been an invisible threat on mine sites, even though they've contributed to mining safety incidents everywhere. If you go just 18 hours without sleep, and that's pretty common, right? Well, studies show that you could be just as impaired as if you had a blood alcohol concentration of 0.05 which is more than halfway to legally drunk in most countries. But if you go 24 hours without sleep, your impairment gets much worse, equal to a 0 0.10 blood alcohol concentration, which is well above most countries' legal limits. So if one of your operators is driving tired, then your people and your operations are at risk. And that's one reason some of our customers came to us looking for an answer. Fortunately, our experts found one. Our Caterpillar team began working with an engineering company that specialized in detecting micro-sleep events. They developed a technology that can track an operator's facial and eye movements, and it alerts both the operator and mining management when a fatigue or distraction event occurs. That technology is called the Driver Safety System, and it's a part of the Cat Detect suite of technologies. Let's hear more about that technology and how it helped one of our customers dramatically improve the safety of their mining operation. Our haul trucks work for about 10 hours a day, constantly driving back and forth, hauling material for the company. Could be easy for an operator to be fatigued, so we definitely want to stay on top of their activities and monitoring them and helping them to be safe. We actually had an incident where we had a, a young truck driver have some issues the night before, came to work and fell asleep at the wheel and, and you know, drove a, a 40 ton haul truck over a, a half ton pickup. So you know, significant exposure with that. So when we saw this technology, it was just a perfect fit for our operations. When I heard that Caterpillar was coming to, to help us with a fatigue management study and some additional tools to help, I was really excited. Our highest priority here is the safety of our workforce. If we can't do that, then, then we don't effectively do our jobs. So how do we measure fatigue at a, at a customer site? What we do is we implement what's called a fatigue risk assessment, an FRA. And our fatigue risk assessment is broken into three phases. During the first phase, we will have the driver safety system in silent mode. So we'll just be collecting data to see if fatigue is something to be concerned about at the site. What we'll also do during this phase is we will have volunteers work the Caterpillar smart band we're able to pull information off the smart band and then really look at the quality and the quantity of sleep that individuals are getting while working their schedules. We'll also get the real data, obviously, that's occurring in the truck while the operators are driving during their normal shifts. Once we have that data, now that's our baseline data where we can now move into phase two. We turn the alarms on. When a driver has a micro sleep event, an alarm will go off in the truck, the seat will vibrate, there will be an audio alarm that alerts a driver. What we typically see happen once the alarms are turned on in the truck, we see a decrease in fatigue events by over 80%. We got a lot of information that we could use, a lot of things to help us in our path forward for us to be able to implement a plan. Quite honestly, most of the feedback initially when hearing about the study was fairly um, cautious. Um, as we got into the study, and Kat did a great job of laying out the groundwork of exactly what we were doing with the study, the response became much more positive. What really interested me in the Cat technology is the level of engagement. It's not just a technology solution, but it's also a solution that through the call center in Illinois, we can have direct feedback to our frontline supervisors. During phase three, we implement that fatigue intervention plan. This piece of video that's captured is then sent to our fatigue monitoring center. We'll have a safety advisor then review that clip and verify that it was indeed a fatigue event. 
the safety advisor will then contact the site to alert them that there has been a fatigue event and then the site will then manage it through their fatigue intervention plan. Our frontline supervisor gets a call and then that gives him the opportunity to immediately intervene and just find out what's going on. It, it just gives us an opportunity where we can have that safety conversation and I think that was the most compelling part for me. Having this technology allowed us to see something that was invisible to us. For it to be able to vibrate and alarm and alert the guys that they were being distracted or that they were having a fatigue issue, it really helped open our eyes to a potential risk that we just didn't know how much it was actually there. Um, so that information has been invaluable to us. In fact, going from phase one to phase three, we saw a 97% reduction in distraction events. We just seen phenomenal improvement the whole process has just been awesome. Uh, I can't say enough good things about our partnership with Cat Safety Solutions. Um, they are absolutely experts in the field and the support that we have received from the team has just been outstanding. For other organizations, if you are thinking about fatigue and, and understand that you have some exposures, I really encourage you to talk to these guys because they can absolutely help you. The emphasis on truly looking after the readiness of the employee to operate safely, it just reinforces the commitment that this organization has to safety as well as CAT and their, and their support. Fatigue is a part of life. On a mine site though, it becomes a serious risk to your employees and your operation. But Caterpillar can help you measure and mitigate that risk by completing a fatigue risk assessment at your operation.